This is The Live Brew, hosted by John Burke and John Sell. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Live Brew. This is John Sell, and uh, just giving you guys a little update on us at The Live Brew. Uh, we have decided to take our health into consideration. So this episode, ep- episode 16, is going to be a best of episode. Uh, we wanted to limit our exposure to the public, make sure that we're not going out and exposing ourselves when we don't necessarily have to. But we also know that some of you really appreciate our content and wait on it every week. So we wanted to get an episode out there. So for some of our diehard listeners, this might be a little repetitive, but we wanted to do a best of in case some people tune in week weekly. Maybe they want to go back, check a new episode out. Uh, we're just looking to do that stuff. So on the Live Brew Instagram page, you know that we've been running our raffle. Uh, for one weekly, uh, one lucky nurse each week, we'll be getting a $25 gift card to wherever they want, whether it be a Venmo request, whether we could buy, go out and get a gift certificate for you. We're just trying to say a little thank you. So if you have a nurse in your life that you truly care about and love, just DM us on Instagram. Say, hey, this is their name, what their position is, where they work, and they're entered into the raffle. Uh, last week we had four nurses entered, um, Nicole Coyne won, she is a nurse, um, at uh, Mount Sinai, working with the COVID-19 patients, so you know what, good, she was very grateful with it, she took the $25 for Venmo and she said that she's gonna push it to try to get some baked goods for those who she works overnight with, so, uh, Thank you. Anybody that has a nurse, please reach out to us. We're more than happy to throw them into the raffle. We just want to say thank you. A small little thank you from the live brew for all that these nurses and PAs and frontline workers are doing. Uh, so, into uh, next first clip we're starting off with is from episode 5, the 1940s Brewing Company. Uh, the beer we do is uh, Imperial Confession. It's an 11%. And uh, a little about 1940s. Right now they're doing pickup. They're doing delivery. Uh, they got a really cool beer out. It's like a Happy Gilmore kind of theme. It's called Just Tap It In. It's got Happy Gilmore. It's got Chubbs on the front. It's uh, really cool artwork. Basically, um, all I'm saying is go find your favorite local brewery. Go out. Pick up their stuff because you don't know how what they're going through right now. They're lo- losing a lot of foot traffic. So, um, yeah. Jump in. I think this is the clip where we first ever say, once you go stout, you never go back. So, have some fun. I like it. It's smooth at first. I think it has like that bitterness aftertaste. Um, but maybe that's on the like, It's not, not like bitterness super from the like molassesy or like yeah, it's not thick. thick. Yeah, it's not thick. It's not thick. Not thick with any seeds. Mm. Not thick with three thick seeds. <laughs> not at all. But it's good. I do like it. I'm afraid though that. They might have just dumped a sh- ton of sugar in this to get it up to eleven and a half percent. So if I is that, that how you do it? You put more sugar into a beer, and that's how like that, it that's gets... how I would do it. Okay, that's how I would do it. It's definitely pretty sugary. You could taste it, but um, it's not bad. It's, I mean, I do like it. I definitely liked it the first taste I had. Mm-hmm. It's you definitely it, taste all the flavors that are there, but there's something yeah. else that. I can't, I can't, I don't have a good descriptor for it yeah, that is, is in there that I can't say. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a blast. I mean, Maybe I think it's vanilla good. in there at the end. I would hope they would. A little vanilla? Just at the Hold end. On, let's, let's try it. Let's, let's do another little tasty test. <laughs> a little tasty taste. I can definitely taste, I feel like it's carbonated. Well, what do you mean? I don't know, it tastes almost like a soda to me. A little bit. Okay. I, like, I, mean, I could like, be totally hey, wrong. All beers are carbonated. I know, but it, it tastes like very carbonated. Okay. I, I do like. I don't think it's overly carbonated. The head on it wasn't gigantic. It was okay. a normal head. No, just the way that out. I'm tasting it. Okay. I let it sit in my mouth a little bit. Maybe that's the problem. Hmm. I'm trying to get the full taste, moving my tongue around the, the liquid. I don't want to. Doing the ABCs on the liquid. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. That was my, my turn for you. Yeah, I think that might be it. <laughs> One, you know what, what they say, once you go stout, you don't go back. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> 
<laughs> which is it, it, which is ironic because we're we're starting with the stout. Normally we go to the uh. stout at the end. In this episode, we start with the stout. Should we just like cancel the rest of these beers and just get another stout? Get four more, three more stouts. Get like the other milk stout they have and just get a f- two full, full more glasses of yep. this. And just sit here and black out with these 11.5%. Oh, is- I'm going to have to call my girlfriend to drive me home then. I was just going to call. Um, my girlfriend's right up the street from me. Really? Place. No, my girlfriend's pretty far. So you know what? I probably have to just call my dad. <laughs> but my girlfriend would definitely be more of a fun ride. That will be a lot more fun. Nah, I, I can't touch my dad's face when he's driving. He doesn't like that. <laughs> Practice ABCs? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man, I didn't like that one. That one. <laughs> you started this. I know, I started this. You started it. this. Oh, man, no, I don't do my ABCs on my dad. <laughs> I hope you don't. Oh, my God, where are you drinking this beer? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep this ball rolling. Move it on. Keep on. the ball rolling. I want to get out of this conversation. No, no, don't worry. I'll keep it going. Oh, you want? I thought. I thought where you wanted to dig, dig this hole. Get out of this hole you've been digging for yourself. Nope. This what? Call me the grave digger. You got it. This is Tell where me I'm you're drinking this, this really dad. This, I am drinking this with my dad. <laughs> I am drinking this. This stout is being drunken with my dad. Okay. It's a barrel aged, so I would drink this at a whiskey distillery. Yeah. I when they when you just said barrel aged, the thought ran through my mind. Like, I wonder what was in the barrel before, because usually they have to. It adds that characteristic of flavor. Yep. Maybe I was like, maybe that's what we're tasting. What uh, was ever in the barrel beforehand, whether it be whiskey, scotch, be. bourbon. That definitely could be the whole bit. I I'm mean, that's where I'm drinking it. I'm drinking because me and my dad drinking it like a whiskey kind of like. Oh, you, you guys distillery. are with, He drinks a whiskey. Or? Yeah, he drinks a little whiskey, a okay. little bourbon, like a little Maker's Mark, a little uh, Maker's wood, Mark is very good. Wood for Reserve kind of stuff. Wood for Reserve is also very good. Yeah. But uh, I do like the beer. But yeah, I'd, I'd do that. This would be a good beer. To, uh, my dad doesn't like stouts. Uh huh. But this would be a good beer to like sit with him and drink. Okay. I think it's like a good a good beer to nurse. My dad. My dad. I don't think he would like this. He might, but I doubt it. Uh, he's more of a, like a porter person. Uh, but really, even just like a regular lager, uh, just like plain old fashioned Sam Adams, but not like light beer like Budweiser yeah. or light. No, he's. But, my dad's like a Stella kind of. Yeah, kinda, my dad like, could also drink a, a Stella. Pilsners, probably. Yeah, Pilsner. Yeah. That's the word I was looking for. He hates IPAs. <laughs> my dad also hates IPAs with a passion. Like uh, at home, I made a IPA that was like barely hot, yeah. and like he just took one sip of it and was like, "Ugh, that's terrible." And I brought that to like a family party uh, a couple weeks later. He tried it, and then we opened up a can of uh, something that was really hoppy yeah. at like ten percent alcohol. Uh, optical. Oh, optical illusion. No. From uh, Blue Point. No. No, it was from a Vermont brewery. What was it called? He- he- heavy Topper. Heavy Topper. Okay. Uh, I've never heard of that one. They do some good stuff. Uh, I've only had them maybe like a dozen times, yeah. uh, but their stuff is very, very hoppy. Okay. And like, I like it. Tastes good. Smells good. But my dad was like, "This is terrible. How do you drink this?" That's Oof. funny. Uh, but yeah, what are we? what's your number? This is we gotta finishing out this beer. We might as well give it a number. Uh, I'm gonna say it's a good beer. It's I like this stout a lot. It's an imperial, and it's barrel aged, so they put a lot of work into it. Uh, they they want that extra mile. Yeah. Instead of letting it ferment just in like a regular steel fermenter, uh, they put it. They went out of their way, put in the wooden barrels. I don't know how long they let it sit for, but still, that's yep. what I think makes it count. You. So I'm gonna go. I think a solid seven five on this. Seven five. Wow. I like it that much. Yeah, I like your um, description. It's definitely the whole barrel age, putting it in a little more. I was originally going more in the fives, but I think I'm going to go like a 6.4. Okay. 6.4. I, I like the beer. I mean, I'm obviously not a big stout guy. Yeah. But, um, yeah, this is a good beer. I would definitely recommend this to somebody. Hope you guys really enjoyed that clip as much as I did. Um, really funny episode. You guys should go back and listen to that again. That was episode 5, 1940s Brewing Company out there in Holbrook. Definitely should give them a check out. This next clip we got coming up is episode 7, GSB. Great South Bay Brewery Act there in uh, Bayshore on Drexel Avenue. 
they got some really cool takeout stuff going. Uh, you just pull up, they drop it right in the back. You don't even have to talk to anybody. You pay online. It's it's a good ta- good time. If you're really concerned but you really want beer, that's where you want to go. There, it's also combined with Ghost. That's what I did when when I went out there, ordered, got some beer from Ghost, got some beer from Great South Bay. Great South Bay's got 24 packs of assorted. Uh, it was the there was a porter in there. There was a pilsner. There was the ale. Uh, then there was the session IPA. So this was a good episode. If you want to go back and listen to this, this is uh, this clips from Winter Blows Pale Ale, uh, 5.5%. You may remember this if you uh, have been listening for a while, as this was the time when we talked about the first time we saw a titty. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Thanks, guys. I like this a lot. Like this is one I could drink steadily, easily. I enjoy it. I can have a couple of these too. Not even think about it. Like this is like a beer I bring like a six pack to a family function. Really? And like I would probably end up drinking it all myself. Uh, I don't know other people drank my beer that I brought to family functions. Uh-huh. That's why I bring a thirty rack of Budweiser. <laughs> Oh, you drink all of that? Of course. Damn. I just went down to uh, Naples to visit my aunt and uncle. Holy shit. What? They're like in a retirement community. They're not They're not old themselves. I think they're like around like 60, like something. But um, they're hanging out with 75-year-olds. Okay. There's a big difference between 65 and 70. These people are going to bed at like six. <laughs> The 60 years or the 75 year olds, or both? No, the 75 year olds. Oh, wow. And my parents come down. We, I went down with my uh, two parents. Yep. And we just went to eat. And then every time we'd go out to eat, they'd be like, Why are you going out to eat so late? We're like, It's 7 o'clock. We're like, Oh, we're asleep. We're going to go to bed by then. I was like, Chill out. It's time for bed. And they're drinking all the time. It's like a goddamn college spring break there. <laughs> I thought I was watching Grandma's Gone Wild. I read something the other day where it's like you're pretty happy in your like your 20s and 30s and then sorry to be depressing but it diminishes in like your 40s and 50s but it up, picks back up in like your 60s and 70s so it's you're happy anybody want to try a free mix? Sure, sure why not? The only All one right. is fairly strong if you like it they'll be at the bar they're free to take it All right, Thank you very much Appreciate it Alright this podcast is sponsored by Spearmint MM Mint Bubble Bubble Don't know what that is But some random oh, guy Came up It's to a us. literally A blue bubble There's two in this box Okay But I can't get The second one out So I guess uh, Oh you're gonna try it In the middle of the podcast Ooh Breaking news We're getting a mint review In the middle of this podcast So For a little background What happened was Some random guy Just came up to us And asked us If we wanted a mint It's like Listerine Encased in more Listerine <laughs> John's face Looks like he is going to. He's not happy. He it, was, it was just unexpected. He just. Well, he just said it was so strong. It was very strong. It's like those Listerine tabs that you put on your tongue. Yeah. Surrounded by, uh, and it surrounds liquid Listerine. So, are you getting drunk off the alcohol? In those I shouldn't Listerine have had this pipes? because this is going to throw off my whole game for. Oh my god! Just, try, just drinking the flavors. What just happened? We just went from we just Major League to T-Ball to now we're just cheaters. Now we're the Astros. <laughs> we're the goddamn Astros. <laughs> we're cheaters. What the fuck were we we're talking you, about we're before that? We're using performance-enhancing drugs. And you were talking about depressing stuff, about uh, as life went down, we um, oh, we got more sad yeah, and stuff. Yeah, going back to that. Uh, with like, Did we want to go back to being sad? Well, it, it ends on a happy note. Go on. Um, but... When you get back to your 60s and 70s, you start becoming happier as, you, like, as happy as you were in like your 20s and 30s. Uh, I don't know what that's, uh, what the factors Why, that cause that. Because they get up at four in the morning and they can watch every sunrise. I don't know. Maybe it's because they're living in retirement homes with all their peers. Yeah. They're banging each other all left and right. I heard about that, man. Yeah. Now, not this one. This one is uh, pretty. They're all like couples there. Yeah, I'm not. I'm but not I, saying but I watched your grandparents Su- are swingers. But I watched the Super Bowl with a bunch of 75 year olds. They were like falling asleep at the halftime show. Uh, what did you think about the halftime show? I thought it was fine. I didn't think. I thought it was a little inappropriate. I wasn't a big fan of it. I don't really care. 
Exactly. I liked it. It was fine. I wasn't head over heels for it, but it's another fucking halftime show. I grew up with seeing uh, some tits. I never got uh, to see it. Oh, Janet Jackson? Was it, yeah. Was it? yeah. I never noticed them. I, I don't think I watched the Super Bowl at that time. That was, that was my first Super Bowl of memory. My parents were just like, was that John, first, don't look! Was that your first titty? I think that was my first tit. Oh, uh, the first titty. That was my first tit. Everybody remembers their first titty. That was a lot of people's first tit. Oh, man, yep. I remember mine. Second grade, I went over to uh, Alexander Masado's house, and we looked okay. up naked.com <laughs> on the computer. <laughs> and, it, and I remember it. It was a woman uh-huh. on a riding horseback, topless. Oh, boy. And then the mom called us, and I had to tell my dad as he was taking a nap. I had to wake him up. And I had to say, hey, Dad, I went on Naked.com. He's like, you woke me up from a nap for this shit? (laughs) I was like, yep. And then my mom was like, okay, you're good. Go play video games. I didn't get in trouble. Because who the fuck visits Naked.com? You're just curious. You're just curious. We should get Naked.com to sponsor us. All right, let's get back to this beer. I like this beer, though. I do. It's like, I know it's not a, a chocolate beer, but it tastes a little chocolatey. As like a hint of like, hmm. am I just at, my, am I delirious? I'm not sure because my taste buds are all fucked up from that spearmint goddamn mint. Should have said no. Should, uh, no, I should have said yes, but just you not. You should have said no. I think that's a Taylor Swift song. But, uh, but I do kick, I do feel the, the slight it's... spice. Oh. It might be the rye. That they use. Yeah, oh, yep. Yeah. Instead of like the wheat and barley. I can, I can feel it. This is crazy, man. Are we at a. So, what. For everybody that's listening, we are at a. Um, at the Great South Bay Brewery and they are doing game nights. So, there's about four or five different screens set up. Somebody's playing FIFA, somebody's playing Smash Bros., somebody's playing 2K, and then we have this. Um, Tech game. Tekken? That's what it is? I'm pretty sure it's Tekken. So they're playing Tekken right next to us. So I can't tell if we're watching people play Tekken or we're watching a World Star video. Because this is crazy. They are being so loud. Everyone's cheering. Well, granted, it's a fucking hot broad. I don't know. I'm not a Tekken Actually, guy. Actually, yeah, that might be Oh, a that's a KO. Oh, it's a KO! They're all, che- they're all cheering for the girl. This is crazy. <laughs> but... Yeah, where well, you're gonna drink it? Well, you I can drink, drink this all day, every day. I this think. is crazy that we're getting overrun by these people. They're taking over our podcast. They are. So, um, I mean, yeah. But I like this. I could drink this all day, every day. I think. Not anywhere. Actually, maybe not anywhere. Not during the summer. <laughs> this is crazy. But uh, no, the uh, I would drink this a lot of places, man. I'm a big fan of this beer. I'd have to go with a, um, I would drink this before work. This is kind of the beer I'd work before, I'd drink before work. Like, it, it takes some mellow off it. Like, the last one I drank after work, this is like something that would get me in the mood, like, okay, I like it, it's a calming beer. Uh-huh. Maybe that's where I'm looking at it. Maybe if I'm going to have a big fight with, like, my girlfriend or something, I'll drink this before, I'll be like, okay, oh, let's boy. get my wits off. And let's uh, let's drink this. Get a solid buzz. Yep. All right. So what about what's your number? What, what, I know you're saying it's a spray. seven four. Seven four. I liked it better than the last one. Really? I'm Maybe. going seven flat. Seven flat. Seven up. I went up too. All right. Oof, that is a funny. That's a funny bit. Good times. Good times. I really like that episode. If you guys want to enjoy, that's one of the episodes where we had a. Uh, gamers there they had a whole game night going on gsp puts on a lot of events as soon as we get out of quarantine i really highly recommend anybody go there uh they got a gift shop they got a big room floor it's a ta- big tap room it's a really cool spot they got cornhole uh, i believe ping pong it's, it's got places for a bunch of different parties don't a bunch of different options for a bunch of different people food trucks every time seriously go check that out but now on to our next clip. This was uh, one of our favorite breweries that we went to check out. One of the newest on Long Island, too. It's uh, Motion Craft. This was from episode 10, Motion Craft Brewed. It's uh, right in Massapequa Park. It's a really new uh, brewery. Just opened February 14th. You know what? It really stinks. Uh, that this 
quarantine's happening right now because these people were just building up their brand, getting out there. They were featured in a few different places. And if you get the time, just go there. I think they're selling growlers. I think they're selling a couple cans. I don't know, not too uh, specific on it. But this is a really good option if you guys live in the uh, Nassau area. We haven't hit too many Nassau breweries yet. But this is a really fun brewery, really small, really nice people there. I really highly suggest please go out there. It's a really good uh, brewery. Go support them. This is the time that we need. Re- breweries need us, and we need beer because it's a stressful time. But uh, this clip is from uh, when we were talking about drag. If uh, John would look good in drag, John Burke, he said he would do it for, uh, for a pretty penny if anybody wants to get a GoFundMe together for it. <laughs> but uh, we were talking about um, – in, uh, three hour increments. That's uh, a six point seven percenter. Have some fun with it, guys. Conversation with them. You can't. You know, can you even talk then? Oh, are you allowed to talk to freeze tag? This is I another. Don't know. We gotta set this precedent of a rule. That's a good precedent. I don't know. Are we be allowed to talk? To- I don't know. Should we be allowed to talk in freeze tag? I don't know. I don't know if you like, remember how to play what? freeze tag. Now that I'm thinking about it. I feel like you're supposed to like stay still like a statue. Yeah. And oh, and then the other guys have to tag you. But I do remember, like, yelling to my friends, like, yeah, fucking yeah, tag yeah, me, you bitch. Yeah, ta- you gotta be able to yell. Get me the fuck out of here. Yep. Where are you? I'm in the corner. <laughs> I'm in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> he won't let me out. <laughs> I mean, I'm in here with Jeff. He's not letting me out of the closet. <laughs> oh. oh, no. <laughs> but, uh... All right. This yeah. beer. I like Jump it. Jump back on. Jump back on the tracks. Come on. Get back on the L I double R. Just like that, we're back to it. Back at yep. it. Mm. This is a solid beer. I like it. Definitely. I mean, if I, actually, if I, I mean, it's growing on me actually. A little bit I would more. get a full pint of this. No, not a problem. Oh, definitely. No, I, I'd definitely drink a couple of them. It reminds me of the Dubco pineapple, the, the IPA that I always okay. consider the pineapple that I think everybody else says it's not actually oh. pineapple. Oh, the Dubco IPA, which yeah. is coconut and coconut. Yeah. coconut yeah. And well, this is coconut. It might have right? pineapple in it. To be no, honest no, with that's you. the. Uh, the sour, not the sour. Yeah, this, this does not the have... The cider we're doing. This has a uh, citron and mosaic hops. It's yep. A, okay, there we go. IPA. I got you, I got you. As you can tell, we've really done a lot of studying on this brewery as it's only been open for two weeks. But, I mean, I, I think it's, it's really enjoyable. It's a good it spot. Is. All the guys here seem pretty chill. I mean, I would definitely... Yeah, man. Uh, it seems like they're brewing in the back right now. I can, you can... This would be a great happy hour spot. Yeah, I think so. It's... Because how many breweries have we been to where it's literally, like, just off of Main Street? We've been to 27A. Lithology. Lithology was our most recent one. Okay. Um, what else? I don't think very many out. Well, I mean, Brickhouse Brewery, does that yeah. count? But that's more of a restaurant kind of style thing. I don't know. I think like, it probably counts. It's on Main Street. Yeah. And then uh, what's the other one that we uh, that's on Main Street technically, but not in, like, a town? It's 27A? The Small Craft. Small Craft. Yeah, this is also kind of close to here. Small yeah. Craft was in Amityville. Yeah, but this but, this is like right on the main drag. Yeah, the main it's, drag, man, drag, drag. Oh, I was talking drag queens. Oh, I was I was thinking cigarettes. No, man, would you Uh-oh. ever do drag? How much money for drag? Uh, one, you, you better make me look fabulous. Two, fucking fabulous. I better be I better be pretty wealthy after it. Really? I'm gonna get a lot of shit. I'd do it probably for about ten grand. Ten grand. I was thinking. You were going I, lower? I was thinking 100. Grand. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. you're, you're shooting too high, man. No, what? because it, either go hard or go home. And if I'm going hard, I'm going to go oh, to I'm Cherry gonna, Grove was... and be in that <laughs> drag queen contest and Dude, win it. Have then. you ever went to that? No, I've I seen pictures. Go so bad. I've always been working for it. The problem is, it. I wanted to go, but no girls want to go, and I don't want to go with my best buddy. It's me and him aren't allowed no, to go to this. The only people I know who go to this are like girls that I work with. They really? all go. To, they all take that day off and go together. Like no guys go to this. Well, I think if you're going to be a guy and go, you have to go with your girlfriend. Yeah. So people don't like start suspecting. Well, things. I've also they've, I've also been told like they know the people like the oh, gays you, out there. They, they know got good gaydar. They have they have better gaydar than everybody else. No man, I used to get hit on by gay people in high school. I don't know why this beer is bringing out like me talking my keys and stuff. <laughs> you coming out of the I'm cottage. sorry. You're not trying to tell I'm us something. Sorry, motion. Motion of the ocean. Where would you drink this beer? As you uh, just down it. Yeah. Just crushed it. I uh, it's you got me going. Motion on the ocean. You're thinking on a boat. I could. I was thinking at the beach, but also okay. I could. 
I'd want to drink this like on a train ride coming home from work, I think, or even going into okay. the city. It's a little happy hour action there. Definitely you go. a happy hour action here. Yeah, I, th I think it's gonna be. I think this would actually be the, a good lunch beer. That, I think it would be a solid lunch a beer. Really good lunch like, beer. It's not. It, it's definitely drinkable, but you won't down it. Uh, yeah, it's super quick, so That's, you don't. You don't have time to order a second. It's on that weird verge of. Uh, yeah, I think. Do you, I get one? Do I get two? I feel like you're going out for like a lunch meeting with somebody, and you're just like, oh, let's let's break the ice a little bit. I think this would be the ideal beer. Okay. Yeah, I like it. How about you? You, you just drink it out of luncheon? Yeah. No, that's yeah. That's where I was going. I, I, right. I was thinking lunch. I mean, like, I think I'm thinking lunch during the week. Like, okay, I'm in the middle of a business day. Yeah. Let's yeah, drink yeah. this and let's pound it. Absolutely. Have a good, Good beer, gotta get back to work. But now I'm gonna be less stressed. Is my work predict productivity gonna go down? Most likely. Probably. Will I throw up in the bathroom? Probably. Why not? Dude, how, you having no. shots at lunch too? <laughs> Might as well. Just imagine, <laughs> you just come back from work. John, how'd you get back here? I didn't leave, I was in the bathroom the whole time. <laughs> what, what? Yeah, I was just eating in the bathroom, <laughs> chugging shots. I was, oh God, chugging shots? Yeah, me and Jamie in the bathroom, me and Jameson. Oh God! All right, I'm just gonna no, move on no, to no. Numbers. Well, you gotta pick a number. I was pick gonna move number. on to numbers. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm a little hostile tonight. Apparently. You, you need to drink some more. Get. Yep. You, let's you, let's get relax. relax. Everybody's gotta relax. And by everybody, but, I mean me and my multiple personalities. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. It was good beer. Uh, average. Nothing absolutely insane, but so I'm gonna give it like a straight six. I was actually gonna go six one. I got, like it. Got to one up me. I think we've got to one up me I think every we've time. Changed it. I think you used to be a little uh, lighter on the reviews, and I've been. A I was a little tougher. Okay. And now, I mean, I Maybe. think it's good beer. I like it. We we flip flop. We go back and forth. Yeah, I guess Either way, depends. I'll still drink a pint of this. I got All no right. problem with this beer. Man, do I enjoy that clip. <laughs> I mean, I would pay a lot of money to see John and drag, um, and I would take a lot of money if you guys want to see me and drag. I'm not saying I'm a sugar baby, but I'll, I'll take something. Everybody could use a little extra cash, especially during these times. But uh, this next clip is a really funny one. Uh, it is from... I didn't enjoy the clip at the time. It's a little at my expense. But it, this was when we went out to episode 11, Blue Point Brewery. Yep, one of the most iconic breweries on Long Island. It's definitely the biggest one right out of the old... Um, Old college out there in Patchogue, right off the strip, highly recommended. I mean, we highly recommend all of ours, but I mean, this is the most professional, it's the biggest, they got live music events every night, it's a really cool place. This clip is uh, when I ordered chicken liver nuggets and didn't know what a chicken liver nugget was. I uh, didn't think people actually ate chicken liver, um, still don't, because that thing was disgusting, I certainly didn't actually eat it. Um, but hey, that's it. But our beer that we're reviewing in this time is a uh, Rocket Fool. This is one, is one of the like the pina colada kind of mixes. We go into that how pina coladas are made. The Rocket Fuels at Long Island at Fire Island are made. Uh, this was seven point six percenter. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Speaking of moving on, you uh, you ready to go to the next one? Yeah, sure thing. The next one we have is Rocket Fool, F-O-O-L. L-O-L. Uh, it's a pina colada IPA. Uh, the a the IBUs for this are 60. So this one's kind of up there. It's a little bitter. But it's a 7.6% alcohol right. content. Cool. So let's get out of this. This one, like the short thing, is also clear. It's got a tad bit of haziness to it. Nothing major. Yeah, I don't think it. I wouldn't consider it hazy. No, not at all. It's just it's definitely got a lager color. The shore was clear. Yeah. But this is just a little, little, a little bit more dark. ambery. A little bit. Alrighty. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Baby. Something. That it's tastes something. like. It tastes like pina colada. It also tastes a little bit bitter. So it tastes the sixty IBUs. Wow, so you just reiterated the description. I did not. Well, it's not false advertising. No, I know. I, <laughs> I get what you're saying. I just, I don't know what I expected it to taste, because for people that don't know, the uh, drink at Flynn's, not Flynn's, it's... Uh, Ocean Beach. Yeah, Ocean CJ's. Beach. CJ's. There it is. CJ's iconic drink is a rocket fuel. It is amaretto, pina colada, 
rum, and then a little floater of 151. And it's also in, uh, what, a slushy mix? Like yep, ice mix? slushy mix. A nice pina colada mix. Yeah. I mean, I expected it to be a little more, a little heavier of a beer. Yeah. I don't know, about, probably because I'm comparing it to the pina colada slushy, but I definitely expected it to be a little more like a, oh, I'm not going to be able to chug this, because this one I feel it's kind of smooth. Yeah. Hey, confession, I hate rocket fuels. Really? I can't. Like, even, like, pina colada, like, mix. Really? Not a fan. I'm, like, a strawberry daiquiri kind of person. Or okay. when it goes to Ocean Beach, zippies all day, every day. Wow, so you just came out on the podcast? I came, I guess I did. Oh, my God. I'm not a rocket fool. No, no rocket fools here. No, I had, but, I had uh, one one time. I was making them for my friends. My, my buddy had a beach house. I was making them for his, uh, his parents, his parents' friends. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is cool. And then I got such a sugar, like, hangover. Uh, those, that's the worst. At, like, 11 p.m. So the party <laughs> was just ramping up, and my head was pounding. pounding. I got oh on the ferry because it was the white party at uh, Kismet. Kismet. Oh, that one. Yeah. So I'm hopping on the ferry at, like, 11.30, and I'm texting my mom, Mom, we might have to go to the hospital. I don't know what's wrong with my head. It hurt so bad. <laughs> I thought I was dying. Oh, my God. Yeah. Ugh. That party, being on the other side of that party, that other is a, that, that party's a shit show. It's mayhem. Oh, because you're on, yep. You're, you're taking everybody home from the party. I am taking everybody home. And I think this past year was even more of a shit show for us because we had the white party, Rich Mahogany, and then there was a concert in Atlantique all in the same night. Yeah, I remember. So, uh, last time, last summer I went, and my friends and I said, hey, we don't need to take the ferry because there were too many people. So we walked to Field 5, but nobody would, no Uber would come and pick us up. No. So my aunt had to come pick us up. Okay. Was she a little intoxicated? Maybe. Was she pissed? No, but because she lives in Oak Beach. Oh, okay. oh So she just had close. to drive over the thing. But we didn't realize that she was out that night before. <laughs> she was out that so, night? Yep. Do you guys mind if I Oh, yeah, no problem. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. Thank you so much. No problem. Would you like chicken liver? Because I don't. <laughs> Take this away from us. Please it, help us. It looks, it, it looks weird just to look at. Yeah, no. It's uncomfortable to look I at. I was actually... I was getting nervous when she came over with it. I was like, that's not chicken nuggets. No. No, it is dark. No, I man. Mean, chicken liver Look, once. we're not afraid of dark things, but like... It's... It does not look appetizing to me. No, man. Maybe you dip it in the ranch. I'm not going to try another one. <laughs> you tried, what, I'll do a one chi- and a half? I'll do a chicken liver review. Oh, my God. This... <laughs> Dude, they all look disgusting. I'm cringing right now. I'm trying to pick one that doesn't... No, I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I tried like one or two, but it was just so bad. It was like tangy. Yeah. I tried chicken liver once in like Peru. It was in, we got like a chicken soup. We didn't really know what that entailed, but when we got it, there was like chicken liver, chicken heart. I got a chicken, a foot of a chicken in my soup. Wow. The broth was good though. The broth was good. Did I eat any of the other stuff? Uh, no. Now, I like this better than the last beer, mm. which I'm a little upset I gave the other beer a little too high, because I don't want to go into the nines for this beer. Okay. But it is, I think it's better. Really? I do. I give him kudos for de- definitely putting that rocket fuel taste into this beer. I'm just not, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm biased on this one. I'm just not a no, rocket, fuel, rocket guy? fuel guy. I like this a lot. I'll drink Zippies and do Blue Bomb shots any day of the week. No, Zippies is my go-to at the uh, place. Zippies are great. If I go to Fire Island, give me a, give me a Zippy any day of the week. It's just Fuck a lot yeah. lighter to not to sit in your stomach. And, and Rocket Fuels, man, they get they make you black out. Dude, that's also, I think I might have had one, like, and like I was gone that night. Really? Like, had a, a couple more Zippies onto that, and I was like, I, I had to take two a.m. water taxi home. Oh man. Unless, <laughs> some nights I got, I got so bad, I didn't take the super secret 4 a.m. water taxi home. Oh, the, ooh, that's a super secret one. That's for bouncers only. Oh, yeah. I only get led on because I get special privilege. Because you work at the ferries. Yeah. I get you. That is, 
that is one hell of a fucking book. No, this definitely has like a citrusy, like, coconut taste to it. Yes, definitely coconut. And that's one of the reasons why I don't like a margarita mix. Oh uh, not God. margarita mix. Pina coladas. Pina coladas. If you coconut. like pina coladas. That's a great song. Not you're getting coladas. stuck in the rain. And you're not as a health food. And you got half a brain. Uh. You're much better singing than I am. I hit that note, baby. Hit that note. Oh, yeah. It's growing on me, but I taste the... Did you say saltiness? I didn't say salty. Uh, I said um, coconut. Oh. Uh, I, I taste like a coconut puree almost. Like a coconut puree going on. I don't uh, know. You taste the rocket fuel. Yeah. Man. So it's not false advertising, man. No, it's definitely not. Rocket fuel is a rocket fuel. Rocket fuel, rocket fuel, baby. Where do you think you could drink this? CJ's? Oh, man. Where could, oh, I could definitely drink it at CJ's, but I want to give you guys a little more, uh, a little stuff. What? We got, uh, I'm just looking at who's guessing on where we are. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think somebody had a little inside information. <laughs> he did have a little inside information. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to break it to the, uh, oh, the loser of this week. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, Noreen. Burr, burr, burr. You're wrong. We were incorrect. We weren't at Spider Bite. <laughs> but uh, where could I drink this beer? I could drink this looking at a sunset on a boat. I want to be on a boat doing like a little sunset cruise. Okay. Okay. That's where uh, I really want to be. I feel like I'd have to. Be where some like somewhere where coconuts are growing. So like you Bahamas, Caribbean kind of thing. Yeah. There you go. I don't know. This gets me like a like a sunset kind of feel. It's funny because rocket fuels get me like oh I'm getting fucked up. Yeah. I'm ready to get party acts back. This beer is kind of like a, I'm ready to sip on it kind of beer. I could see myself drinking this in the back of schooners on the beach. Okay. Yes. You got your uh, you got your feet in the water and you're just chilling you're out. On one of the chairs, sitting on one oh, of the chairs there. Oh, that's a good there. one. That's a good one. I'm just so ready for summer, man. Oh, my girlfriend's mad at me. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. It's okay. Uh, I probably said something that will get my girlfriend mad at me. My girlfriend has called me out. What I so do many after things. after what I do after every episode is yeah. I try to recap it to my girlfriend on the ride home, saying, "Okay, this is, might be what you get mad at me for. This might it's like a little warning." No, see, my girlfriend listens to the episode before I do, so oh. she's usually the one who texts me saying, "It's like, what'd you say?" Uh, well, no, I get live uh, I get live texts. Oh, she like live texts. Oh, so you'd rather see John this Valentine's Day than me? <laughs> God damn it. Shit. Why am I saying these things? <laughs> and why am I bringing this back up? <laughs> You're going to get some more luck. No, yeah. But, uh, no, I think my girlfriend does that to me, too, because she texts me at, like, 7.30 in the morning when she's on the train commuting. Oh, uh, that's great. So I get, like, oh, my God, you just said what? <laughs> that's great. <laughs> uh, we love our girlfriends, though. We do. Oh, yeah. But, Oh, man. This podcast isn't about our girlfriend. It's about the beer. It's It's about about the the beers. Beer and the brewery that makes it. Yes, and this one is Blue Point. Here we are with Rocket Fool. I am going with an 8.7. The highest one I have ever given. Really? I love this beer. Nice. I would come here just for this beer. It's a good beer. I like it. I give them kudos for literally putting... Like basically rocket fuel mix into it, having taste exactly like a rocket fuel, but I'm just biased. It's not my, it's not my style, but I think I can still give it uh, the number that it deserves because it is a good beer. So like I'm gonna give it a seven, flat seven. All right, good. I like it. It was just flavor-wise, it didn't fit my palate, but I still think it was a good solid beer. I would drink this if I had to every time I. I had one of these beers, I'd have to have a full chicken liver nugget. That sounds terrible. It's, it's terrible. Uh, uh. I'm good, guys. I didn't throw up. I swear. Ugh. That was disgusting. Ugh. Chicken. Ugh. Uh. Yeah, can we... Can, can somebody take this away from yeah, we, we gotta move this over here. Yeah, we don't want that. They're gonna be like, what's wrong with them? They'll be like, it's chicken liver. They're gonna be like, you know. You ordered it, didn't you? Yep. 
Unfortunately, yes. Hope you guys really enjoyed that last clip. That was the uh, one from Blue Point, where we're talking about Rocket Fool. It's a good, it's a good time. But uh, before we get into our last clip, I just wanted to thank you guys for tuning in, listening during these terrible times, um, and just wanted to reiterate. I hope we at the Live Brew just hope that everybody stays healthy, happy. You're with your loved ones. Um, we couldn't do this without you. And I just want to reiterate our ra- nurses raffle that we're doing at the end of every week. We just want to do a little small thing to give back to the nurses in our community. We know that they didn't sign up for this, that they're in really bad spots, not enough PPE, and I hope that everybody's okay. That's all we're really hoping for. Um, but, uh, yeah, this next episode, uh, clip is from episode 13, Six Harbors Brewing Company. This was the first quarantine episode which we did in my backyard, which was a, it was an interesting episode, because if you listen to this clip, you can see how we don't even know the extent of it's going to happen. We looked at um, China and Italy, and we just said, okay, it's no big deal. Now, looking back, it's crazy how we thought it was going to be a two-week thing, maybe a month, and now they're talking about this happening for another two years, maybe a year. I mean, it's, this is going to be tough. But uh, hang in there. We're just out here trying to produce some quality content, maybe give you guys a few laughs so we had to put together a best of episode. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for listening. This uh, this beer we're talking about here, it's the Patriot. It's the Nathan Ale. It's a 5 percenter. Definitely appreciate you guys tuning in, especially during these hard times. Um, thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. Until next time, uh, after this clip. Thanks. Every day doing oh, nice. sit-ups, working out. I really should get So I think I'm going to come out ripped with a drinking problem. Ooh. It's going to be like an oxymoron. You're going to have like pecs, biceps, legs, but then a solid a beer, beer gut. gut. <laughs> I'm going to look like Thor from uh, Endgame. <laughs> the biggest beer gut yep. imaginable. It's just going to be like, John, what's you your problem? You should grow your hair out then. Hey. No more barbers. Yeah. Oh, man. No more barbers. No I more saw, nail salons. I no more somebody, waxers. It was on a TikTok. Some guy was talking about... Um, he had his like hair split in the middle, and he looked like that guy from the Atlantis movie when we were kids. Oh. It, okay. And he had like put glasses on, and it was like, no more barbers. You know what that means? Time to go find the lost city of Atlantis. <laughs> no more barbers. <laughs> oh man, I mean, I might be coming out with like a full, uh, full bush of hair. Yeah. Because my hair doesn't grow like straight; it grows like out, like almost like an afro. Oh, same. Yeah. Like mine. I, if I had my, like, freshman year ID card from high school, I you had notice? a fro. I had a fro. I did not cut it that whole entire summer. That's cool. That's hip. And then I cut it, like, first day because the teachers yelled at me. I got told Elvis is dead when I walked in there because my sideburns were apparently too long. Oh, my God. That's, that school's a bunch of Nazis. I know. It was, but it was from the same teacher that I hated. And I'm one of those people that if you, like, you disrespect me or you make me angry once, I'll never You're forget done. you. You done. It was the same woman. I mean, it was um, Miss Nolan, not the Mr. Mrs. Nolan, the sub that I love. I love oh, Nick. yeah. Uh, love Nick. He's a great guy. Living actually down where I used to live in Florida. Yeah, him and his girlfriend, I think, moved down there. Yep. His girlfriend started their own company, Social Navigators. Yeah, there we go. A little shout out. Yeah, give him a shout out. Yeah, hey, they were well. cool people. Yeah, and uh, uh, yeah, not her. Not her. She's a nice woman. Mm-hmm. And then. Um, she was always fun. Yeah. It was funny, actually. My first day of high school, they do, like, the, where the freshmen are the only ones that come in. Yeah. And I was placed into uh, advanced Spanish at the time. <laughs> so I was the only one in that class. So you were Spanish, too? Yeah, I was Spanish, too. So all the sophomores weren't, weren't there that day. Uh-huh. And it was just me and uh, Mrs. Nolan. Oh. And I was just like, hey. And she's like, hey, sorry. I feel really bad. Like, I'm the sub. And uh, all the sophomores aren't in today and I was like oh it's okay and I was the only person there it was like 15 minute classes like just to introduce yourself and stuff mm-hmm. and she was like do you mind if I just read my book and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like I don't okay give a fuck. sounds good but the problem was in our school we weren't allowed to have cell phones yeah so I just sat there for 15 minutes by myself Miss Nolan didn't give a fuck <laughs> I, she because like I was friends with Nick and like yeah. I was the same year as him and like she would just look at us just like what the hell? <laughs> oh, when we're like doing rambunctious shit. It's good. It's good. 
but no. I mean, where are you going to drink this beer? Let's get back to the beer and <laughs> not my social miscues as a child. <laughs> uh, this beer's good. It smells a little bit hoppy. I, yeah, you definitely taste Nothing the like a New England IPA, kind of. No, it's, I mean, it's definitely got the taste to it. It's not crazy, though. This is still another fucking beer that, like, I would have no problem drinking, like, a four-pack in a sitting. Oh, no. This like, is... I want to take all these home with me. There you go. Well, and I think as a brewery, for you, I'll save you on gas charge. I'll just upcharge the beer. (laughs) You'll do the delivery charge for me. Yeah, I'll do the delivery charge. You're the mule. Yep. Oh man, for the speakeasy, mule for the speakeasy. We're gonna start. We should open up a speakeasy. Yeah, I I really think that would be like the ideal thing right now. A speakeasy. Yeah. Well, the Roaring Twenties. We're back. We're Roaring Twenties. We're back. How'd you get the word out though? You can't post on social media. Word of mouth, baby. Yeah. I got a. I got some, got some means to an end. I'll right clean out my there. garage. Yeah, <laughs> I'll clean out my bedroom. <laughs> We're all just sitting there. It's like a college dorm party. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm roofing people. Oh God, no! <laughs> I've no, got I those. I've got that. those plastic. Uh, I wasn't shelves. in a frat. I neither. I was in a, yeah, no. I was in a sport. Uh, um, I've got those plastic shelves. Those, those would be like my bars and tables. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> You get you're like I get my little sister. She's tending bar. <laughs> you you get out, get out. You're too drunk. You're cut off. <laughs> I'm ten. <laughs> yeah. I got my six year old cousin cleaning up, being the bouncer. <laughs> what the fuck is this? He's too old. Get him out of here. He's high risk. <laughs> yeah. We're only doing ten year olds and up. <laughs> ten to twelve year olds. It's, it's a preteen bar. Oh God, crazy donkey. Yeah. Oh man, what's the crazy donkey? You never heard of the crazy donkey? No. I've I've never been to it, uh, but it was basically just like an underage bar in like Farmingdale. Really? Oh no, I've never heard of it. If you, yeah, ask some of your friends about like the crazy donkey if they have ever been right. during high Sounds school, no, specifically I, like freshman sophomore year kind of. Thing. No, I used to go to the uh, Twisted Shamrock. That was my underage okay. bar in uh, okay. Babylon. Oh, I know what and you're talking. It's about. It's now the local. Yeah. Oh, dude, I used to go there. It was phenomenal. Me and my friend played this kid in, um, we bet like $10. We were doing like doubles pool. Okay. And I was just like, what's going on? And he was just like, we're playing these people in pool. I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. First shot, the other team hits it in the eight hole. It hits the eight ball into a hole. Oh, immediately loses? Yep. And they just look at me and they're, I'm just like, we're paying for $10. And they was like, we're bigger than you. I was like, okay. <laughs> okay, sounds good. <laughs> We're bigger than you. Well, we had one kid that was bigger than them. My, my the buddy I was playing with was bigger than him. He's like a right now he's probably six foot four, three hundred pounds. Mm-hmm. So he's a huge kid. And then it was just me, and they, like they were like, "We'll kick the shit out of you." And he was just, we were just. <laughs> we're not like, giving you ten bucks. Yeah, we were like, "Ah, oh, can you just buy us a beer?" And they're like, "Yeah, sure." They bought us like a buy us a round. Yeah, Bud, Bud Light or something like that. I think that's better than good. betting money. It's like, uh, you buy a round of drinks. It's like, yeah. I think that's more. It's a, it's a nice it's it's gesture. It's a it's a very nice gesture. Yeah. So where are you drinking this? Mm. <sighs> this one I want to drink when I'm mowing the lawn. Your this is a lawn beer. It's a lawn beer. Lawn for me. beer. The smell of the, uh, the new cut grass. Just new cut grass. Hops just being outside. New cut the ass. sun. New what? cut ass. Eat an ass. Oh, God. oh, I got a topic to talk about. After oh, no, know. I don't know if I want to. I'm not an ass eater. <laughs> New York City's guidelines for practicing oh, safe corona yes, I sex. saw that. I saw that. <laughs> your, best, uh, your best partner is yourself. Masturbate. Yes. I can't, was... They came up with like three, two, three parts just like talking about that. It's like eating ass, fecal matter could spread it. It's like, what? I was, um, I was. It's so- like that we have, I've gotten to this point in society that they have to like write this out. It's, I mean, that is what happens. I mean, you know what? The government's got to come out with a, with a say. I mean, they have to. I mean, I know as stupid as it sounds, but they got to come out. They do. Because what happens? I mean, you get like, what I'm so little strange about is the research they had to do to find that. <laughs> They had to research and find out that it goes through the fecal matter. Well, uh, as like a scientist, you would have to like figure out how it's transmitted. So is it transmitted through cough? You have to test all the possibilities. Yeah, I know. And apparently one is having ass for dinner. It, 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 <laughs> or other things could be transmitted. I think they're just trying to stop that. Yeah. In, the- par- in parentheses on that, they said rimming. <laughs> oh, like, my God. That's crazy. kidding me. 
Christ. Oh, man. No, no, no crazy like me. I'm not no. a crazy guy. I am not. No, no thank you for me. No, either. I'm a very, uh, let's, just, uh, let's just do it and let's just hang out. <laughs> Maybe watch a little Netflix. Netflix and chill. A little Netflix and chill. Mm-hmm. Well, last night my uh, girlfriend was trying to get us to do Netflix with the Chrome extension so we could watch the same thing. Oh, yes, yeah, I, I heard like, about that This too. is like, we're doing Netflix and chill, but I don't get the goodness of the chilling. Yeah. I just get the Netflix. Get the Netflix and talking and hanging yeah, out. Yeah, you get the Netflix and the conversation. I was like, come on. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> no. But we couldn't figure out how to get it going. So. Ah. But we both did uh, like the, ha- the virtual happy hours last night. Oh, how was that? That was fun. Not, we were in separate ones. She was talking to her college friends. Okay. I was talking to my friends around here. And it was just like uh, we were all just sitting there drinking beers in separate houses. It was fun. It was cool. My dad's getting that set up for our family and like the rest of my family for Easter. That's cool. So I think you we're think gonna it's try that. Going that long? I don't want it to go that long, John. I ne- I don't want it to go that long either. When but... is Easter? What when, what day is Easter? <sighs> Easter's already canceled. I think basically the Pope like canceled Easter. I forget when. When is Easter? Easter? Is April, it's 19? No, 12th. 12th, yeah, so, yeah. All right, Easter, yeah, yep, 12th. 12th. So, one week, two week, three week, four weeks. Fuck, man. Is, this, is Easter's canceled and it's going on for four weeks? I don't know, I can't oh, do it. Oh, that's brutal. I can't do it. Oh, well, school, New York City schools are closed till the 12th, 20th. Fuck. Now, I now just know, looking at the calendar and seeing how, many, how long that is. Fuck. I don't know. I hope we don't. I hope we don't either. I hope everything gets fixed relatively yep. soon. I mean, I think we can handle it. I think we can handle it. I think we all, sh- all got to start wearing body condoms, and we got to just survive and go on about our lives. Hey, human race is going to survive either way. They, we yeah. survived through the bubonic plague for everything. Yeah, I mean, every hundred years, that's what it is. Every hundred years, we, we're facing a pandemic right now. Yeah. That yeah. sucks, but hey, we got to do what we got to do. So everybody a just stay positive. One. Don't freak out. <clears throat> Because, I mean, this is life. we got to do what we got to do. we got to keep our lives as normal as we can. Right, Tucker Pup? Tucker. That's my new nickname. Where are you John. drinking this, though? Where am I drinking this? I am drinking this. It seems like a a beach walk kind of beer. Okay. Like, I'm like, walking from Atlantique to Fire Island. Not no, Atlantique to Fire, Fire Island to Ocean Beach. Okay. Like, I'm okay. We're hanging out at the boat, somebody's boat, and they're like, okay, let's get a beer for the walk. This would be, like, a perfect one. That would, this would be a good one. It would be, so like, a, Field 5 to Kismet? Yeah, because you're going to, it's going to be, like, a, you could drink this in, like, 20 minutes. You could. And that's, like, a 20-minute walk, and you're gonna, it's going to be good. Do you think you could do it tw- quicker than 20 minutes? Because I think all these beers are crushable. I told you. I'm, I'm really bad at judging time. Mm, yeah. I used to tell everybody, I'd be like, oh, don't worry, it's just a two-beer walk. It's like a three beer walk from the field five to Kismet. I like how you <laughs> you uh, gauge my time, gauge your time in beers. Yep, they were yeah, like, "How like long? Do, beer how many walk. beers do you need?" I was like, "No, I think I told it was a one beer walk." Oh, that was way too short. Definitely I think, not I think it's definitely a two beer walk. I think. Uh-huh. All right, but I think it might be a one beer walk with this because you're not pounding these. You're sitting back. You're relaxing, conversational. I think. Really, I think with these, after I got first like get, got through like. The, the first, first like, taste. first, second, maybe third taste. I think this turns into like a crushable beer. You think? Like I, 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 can I see think it. I could pound this. It, it reminds me a little bit of um, what do you call that beer? The uh, Dubco Pineapple. A little uh, bit. Coastal du- IPA. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Dubco Pineapple. That is it, right? Yeah, I always it's thought pineapple? the name of it was the Coastal IPA. It probably is. But I mean, it does have pineapple and coconut yeah. in it. But. I mean, yes, uh, you're very showing. true. You're very right about that. It, I think this does remind me of that. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, what's your number? You uh, got a number on this? Numbers, numbers, numbers. Uh, not just yet, but it's still in the same realm. So They're I did seven three good. on the first two, mm. and then I did. Um, I did seven five seven five seven seven. I think I'm going to have to go 7-3 on this. Okay, I was going 7-4. Okay. 7-3, 7-3, then I went 7-5, and now this one's 7-4. Okay. This is this was really good, man. Th- this whole flight was great. This was really good. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just that we had a little bit more in each flight. Maybe. Instead of four-ounce flights, we're handling with eight-ounce flights right now. <laughs> we are. 